Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills and today we are looking at the Ryuta Sawada vs Gustavo Bellart fight from one championships battle round event. One of the key themes that came to mind when I was watching this fight was about weapon selection or using the right tool for the right job. There are so many offensive and defensive options available in mixed martial arts that strategies which may have been formulated going into the fight will require ongoing adjustments throughout the fight to generate a favourable outcome. As an example, based on physical attributes, for Bilat to find success in the striking elements of the fight, he would need to overcome the reach advantage of Sawada. In this first sequence, his initial entry came up short. However, by backing Sawada up against the cage, Bilat found an opportunity to lunge forward with a superman punch. Once in the pocket, Bilat used his right hand as a measuring stick and a guide to set up a successful left hook. Sawada found some success catching Bilat on his entries. In these next sequences, we see a battle of straight versus round, with Bilat favouring the looping strikes in the pocket versus Sawada's straighter shots. The shortest distance from point A to point B will always be the most direct route, and this advantage offered Sawada the higher percentages to score in these exchanges. That said, should Sawada fail to connect, the reach advantage had already been negated, entering a 50-50 scenario where both fighters have an equal opportunity to attack. There are two main pathways from this position. One, try to end the exchange and force a reset via striking. Or two, remove the space and enter the clinch to either mitigate damage, deal damage, take the fight to the ground or against the cage, or look for an opportunity to create space and reset to a neutral position. A third and less favourable option is to try and disengage, although this option typically leads to unanswered strikes from your opponent. Sawada likes to mix his striking with his clinching and takedowns, and this sequence is an example of a seamless transition between aborting the takedown and landing a clean right hand, then slipping a left hook from Bilat by diving straight onto a low single to complete the takedown. From this exchange, Bilat's confidence in the grappling exchanges grew and became a key weapon that will be the next focus of this study. In this next sequence, Sawada entered the clinch after firing his right round kick. Bilat immediately pummeled for his right underhook and used it to turn Sawada and back him up to the cage, obtaining the second underhook in the process. As Sawada went to re-pummel his right arm in, Bilat immediately switched to an outside single, nullifying the potential threat from Sawada's right underhook. Note, the transition to the single leg can occur because Sawada elected to strike with his left hand, forfeiting the overhook that would otherwise hinder the level change. Now, in the outside single position, Bilat attempted an Oichigari before running the pipe, drawing Sawada off the cage and then chasing the back as Sawada turned away. Sawada managed to prevent the back take by overhooking Bilat's right leg and attempted to shuck him over his head. Bilat countered the Kazushi or off balancing by posting with his right hand and Sawada, recognising the weight shift, turned in, getting back into the clinch in an over under position. Bilat then ducked his head under the right overhook and although placing himself in a potential guillotine, postured aggressively to complete the duck through and secure the body lock, moving behind Sawada enough that he had to bail on the head control. Sawada has shown some difficulties encountering this position before in his fight against Bokang Masunyane, and Balat did a great job of utilizing this sequence multiple times throughout this fight to get to the belly to back position, chipping away with constant knees and maintaining pressure to wear on Sawada. If you haven't already seen this fight, or the Sawada Masanyane fight, it is worth checking them out and coming back to review the elements I've discussed in this study. Bilat had well-trained responses for Sawada's attempts to counter this position. When Sawada attempted to fight the hands by pushing them down, Bilat went for the suplex, walking his feet in and engaging the hips before Sawada could set his base. Sawada also attempted an Uchimata-style throw in an attempt to reverse the position. However, with only a grip on Bilat's right arm, there was insufficient torque to rotate Bilat around his body and end up on top. Pay attention to Bilat's head position, in the centre of Sawada's spine, preventing Sawada from getting his arm behind and using Bilat's head as a lever to complete the throw. Although Bilat was thrown off balance, he was able to maintain his body lock and retain his positional control. When Sawada attempted a Kimura-style counter, Bilat would counter with the belly-to-back suplex, forcing a dilemma onto Sawada. Try to retain the grip and not be able to control the fall, or retain the grip and let the weight of both bodies and gravity do its nasty work. Having found himself at a disadvantage in the wrestling exchanges, Sawada needed to adjust his strategy to avoid wrestling with Bilat. 
Suwada found some success fighting off of his back foot. However, the forward pressure of Balat, having found the right tool in the form of wrestling, gave him complete confidence to push forward and bring the fight to his preferred terms. In any fight, being able to bring the competition to places where you have complete familiarity will always be a significant advantage. There are a variety of methods to counter the rear body lock, from the Granby roll to the hip heist, so I hope this video has piqued your interest to have a suitable counter should you find yourself in the rear body lock position. I hope you've enjoyed this film study highlighting the benefits of finding your advantages in the fight and employing them to create high percentage outcomes. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.